Hey everyone, it's Marco here from the Thema team and welcome to another Thema video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to import user-created themes from the My Color Screen website via the Thema submission page or basically from your friends or wherever else you can get a hold of these themes. So without any further ado, let's bring you today's new video. Great, so as you know, Thema still has an entire variety of premium themes that come to you for free. All you have to do is check in the various sections for whichever one that you would like to apply in one easy click. But as always, if you don't find the one that you're looking for, you can always import a user-created one either on the My Color Screen site or basically from somewhere else. So I'm just going to be teaching you guys exactly how to do that. Great, so starting out, I'm just going to be opening up my phone's browser. As you can tell, I've already got the My Color Screen site loaded up. Now you can see that there's a little button here called Thema Submissions. And if I select this now, it's going to bring up all the user-created themes that are not currently in Thema, but you can still apply these to your phone. Now, as you can see, there's a whole variety to choose from here, but there's some Thing that you'd need to take note of before you can start applying any one of these themes. If for example I like this one over here and I select it, it's going to bring up this page and you can tell that it's been specifically designed for Thema because it comes with this little green button here that this states download Thema file as this comes with the zip file that you need to import into a specific folder on your phone which I'll get to right now. However, there is something that you need to take note of. As you can tell that it says there 1080p plus soft keys. So that's specific to that resolution and any other resolution, say for example you have a Galaxy S2 or a Galaxy S3 that doesn't fit this resolution specifications, it will not work, it, you can apply it but the widgets won't look good, the wallpaper might not fit correctly and it just won't, it'll just look very messy. So, so please take note that when you want to apply any of these themes, check that this matches the phone resolution of your phone and if you have no idea what that is, you can always just go onto gsmarina.com to find out exactly what your phone's resolution is. So I like this one right here, it fits my Nexus 5 because I have soft keys and it is a 1080p resolution. So I'm just going to select download and it's going to now start downloading it for me. I'm just going to say just once and it says starting download. You can see there that it's downloading the theme. It's very tiny as you can see it's almost done right now and there it is completed. But now however it's in the downloads folder and we need to move it somewhere else. So all you have to do now, make sure that you have a file explorer, something that you can explore all the files that are currently on your phone. So I always recommend ES File Explorer, doesn't matter what kind you have. But if I go into download now, you can then see that here is that white cards theme that I just installed. And as you can see, it's a zip file, which is very important. And don't extract it, just leave it as is. As now if we go to more, and now I want to move it onto a specific folder, I can now just select move to. And where do I want to move it? Well, into the My Color Screen folder that you see before you. So if I select My Color Screen now, and I jump into the Thema folder, and then again into the Exported folder, and then finally into the Zip folder, I can then say OK, and then it'll then move it. You can also just copy it there, but it's entirely up to you. But as long as it's in that Zip folder, you're all good to go. Now let's see how this is going to work. All I'm going to do now is to hold down on my home screen and go into my Browse Themes. And from here, I want to go into My Themes and then Exported, as this is where I'll find all the exported themes. Now, if I just select White Cards and I select Apply, as you can tell, it's no download necessary. You just need to apply straight onto your phone. And there it is. It's going to do its thing. So as you can tell, everything's in pretty much working order. You can always just try it out. So say my music will bring up my music app. But just please take note that the user might not do everything correctly. There might be a few hiccups here and there. Like for example, they might use their own app instead of a theme or action. So just take note that some things might have to be configured by yourself. So just take note of that. But other than that, this concludes this video on how to import a user created theme. So like I said, you can either get it from the theme submissions page on my color screen or basically as long as you have that zip file and you paste it into that zip folder within the my color screen folder then you're all good to go so that's it guys thanks very much for watching we hope you are enjoying the theme experience and don't forget to go leave a review on the google play store if you haven't already other than that marco here from the my color screen channel and as always don't stop customizing <laughs>